welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today is a doll related content, I guess. Um, I get a lot of questions about where I get my doll clothes from and while I do try and make a bunch of videos uh, kind of showcasing things as I get them, I do understand people aren't going to watch every single video. And um, I thought I would just do another one of these. I think I did one of these like two years ago where I just kind of show all the clothes and shoes in my collection at the moment. Um, and since it was time for the like every three months dress up my doll session I like to do, I figured it was as good a time now as ever to go ahead and show you the clothes. So um, I have them sorted by company. So I guess I'll start with one of the first stores I ever loved and that's Ball Jointed Soulmates on Etsy. So I have a couple of their pieces still. Um, I would like to get more, but I'm just waiting for something that really strikes me. Um, anyways, so I got this limited set a hot minute ago, maybe last summer, and I really, really loved it. It was super limited and I'm very happy to have this set. I got this top in a lot, but it is a ball jointed soulmates top with some cute little strawberries. And then I have a pair of purple hot pants from my very first ball jointed soulmates order like two years ago, I guess. And I have this pair of leggings, I believe from the same order. So only a few pieces from this store, but they've held up pretty well and I've been really happy with them so far. Like I said, absolutely would order from them again, just haven't uh, in a hot minute, but soon I'm coming. All right, um, I guess since we're on the Etsy train, I will do another Etsy store and that's Cotton Honey. Now I've done a lot of Cotton Honey hauls this year. I love Cotton Honey. Um, uh, my SD stuff is not included in this, but here's the MSD stuff. I got this one in a blind bag and it was my favorite piece in the blind bag by far. It's just this cute blue sweater, super soft with whales on it. I also have this kind of cutout sweater dress, depending on the doll, sometimes a tunic, and it's got like little Game Boys and stars and it says play all over it. Super duper cute. Um, this one is another like, it's the same cut almost. So sometimes it's a dress, sometimes it's a long sleeve, but it's just like kind of a staple piece, uh, what I would call a basic, I guess, in my doll collection wardrobe. Um, and finally for shirts, I have a kind of cropped elasticy t-shirt. Uh, this is super cute. I do wish it didn't have the elastic because I'm actually like, I think it would be cuter without the elastic, without the stretch, if it was just a plain t-shirt. That said, it does accentuate the waist and it looks really cute with high-waisted pants. So, I also have this dress, which is probably my favorite piece from them. It fits pretty much everybody in my, my crew. Uh, it's really pretty and floral. Uh, no, nothing bad to say about it. And then I've got these two skirts. So exact same fit. Uh, they're a little stretched out right now because I put them on hollow um, and so the pop a lot. But they're very, very pretty um, and they do fit smaller dolls as well. But yeah, they have really cute fabrics over at Cotton Honey. And if you haven't checked them out, I do strongly recommend it. Next, I have these two pairs of leggings. They're both pink. One is iridescent and one is shimmery. I got these in a pastel lot on Instagram, but I believe both pairs are from um, F, F, like F Fox U. I'm, I'm not sure if that's how I say it, um, but they have really, really pretty stuff. These leggings look pink, but there's like an, a bit of an iridescent rainbow to them. Um, they're really, really lovely in person. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. And then these are super shiny and cute as well. They're both extremely well made. Um, I'm not seeing any seams pulling or anything. They're, they're really great. Okay, so we're moving off of Etsy and onto Instagram. So first we're gonna go over my Deadlicious design stuff. So for bottoms, I have these purple pants. I've had these a very long time. I believe they're one of the very first things I got from Deadlicious design. And they're one of the best made pairs of pants to date that I've had. It's just a pair of purple satin joggers. Uh, really beautiful. They do only fit mini fees and very like size dolls. There's no give to these bad boys, but uh, when they do fit your doll, they are precious. I also have a pair of uh, sort of longer bike shorts. These have held up okay, but the vinyl is peeling after a few wears. 
Um, so I think that's just going to be something that happens with vinyl. So I'd probably just avoid clothes with vinyl in the future, at least on stretchy clothes. But um, besides that, my dolls wear these a lot. You can kind of tell because they're kind of, they have that like shape to them, like a doll was wearing them, like a bit stretched out. Um, I also have this skirt, which I didn't think I'd love as much as I did. Peach has been wearing it for a long time, but it's just got these like, it's like an Alice in Wonderland moment. It's really pretty. It matches way more stuff than I thought. Um, and then I have this skirt as well, which is pink with a bit of this um, vinyl, but it doesn't, because the fabric's not stretchy, it stays put and it's been really great. Um, I also have this kitty cat shirt. I believe this was a set when I got the lot. It came with this, this, this. Um, and then also it came with this skirt, which is just like a little yellow corduroy skirt. Very cute, big fan. They fit many thieves and like dolls beautifully. And then finally, oh, actually, I think it was like this with that one, because this came with the bottoms. This is my favorite piece. So this has got just like a split sweater, like where it's two different fabrics sewn together uh, really well. And then the sides are kind of tied halfway up with ribbon. And there is some vinyl flames that are peeling up a little bit, but they are really pretty. Um, so, I mean, I probably could have been gentler with this, but, <laughs> but you know, but I really love this piece as well. Overall, Deadlicious design stuff has been a 10 out of 10 for me. I love the quality. Um, it can be really hard to get a hold of though, so you have to wait for those drops and jump. Next up, I'm going to talk about Goodbye You, Hello Me. I have recently shown some of their stuff and all of my stuff from them is in their rose helm size because it fits hollow and soda pop beautifully. So the first item um, is this little bralette. It's just a little cotton bralette and it's got Velcro up the back and it's pretty adjustable. One cute thing about all Goodbye You, Hello Me um, outfits or things I've had is they all have the little tag inside that says GYHM. Super duper cute, great little detail. Um, I'm not gonna show that in every single one, but it's there. And then I have this corduroy skirt that like, what do you call this, snaps down the front. I have this very first pair of shorts that needs some love, they need to be repaired. Um, but I actually got these when I got my Rose Helm. The person I bought them from sent them along and they're obviously very well loved and I do need to repair those. I have this pair of shorts as well, which is just a super cute pair of denim shorts that I'm very sad to put away for the fall, but you know. Um, I have this pair of pants, which is really pretty. I didn't think I'd love them as much as I did, but the fit is super duper dreamy on my dolls and they're just really cute. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. They're super cute. And then I have a couple Halloween type items. So I have this skirt that is pleated and it has some little ghosties on it. I've got this bralette that has crystals and moons. I have, oh, these aren't so spooky, I guess, but I have some um, denim or like chambray, uh, kind of like boot cut, kind of like bell bottom pants with daisies on them. And I really loved these all summer. And then I have two pairs, one's not buckled, sorry, of these Halloween, um, overalls they're the same fabric in different colors but i super duper love these um i'm excited to get some photos done i super duper love these they're just perfect for fall just so cute all right so i hate rushing along like this but i do have a lot of clothes and we do need to get through them so next uh, i'm going to talk about tiki peach tea i got these a while ago but so far of any place I have gotten doll clothes, the stitching on these has been the most immaculate. So it is the, you can't even see, the seams are so tiny and to scale, they're perfect. And this little like mushroom embroidery, are you kidding me? Um, I also got this sweatshirt, kind of like a pullover sweater. And then this kind of like, it's not knitted, but it's like a knitted look fabric. Uh, they don't really go with this, I guess if you put it over top, but they are really precious pieces and I'm really excited to start using them again now that it's fall. Tiki Peach Tea doesn't always sell clothes, but uh, every now and again, they'll make something really cute and then hold a pre-order for it. So if you're not following her already, go follow her so you don't miss out. 
Next up, I'm gonna mention Aliona Taylor. She's uh, a Russian seamstress. And from her, I have a few more items, but they're on dolls right now. Um, I did undress almost all my dolls, but so I have this pair of like jegging things. Um, they're a little bit wrinkled at the bottom because they were on a doll that was a little too short for them. Uh, but they're really, really cute. Um, and I use them a lot and they fit my mini feet really well. I've also got this t-shirt from them that's just this pink and yellow with bunnies. And then finally I have uh, the whole reason I ordered from them in the first place. And uh, just a piece that I really, really love is this jacket. It is like a hollow type fabric or like, I don't know, it's not iridescent. I just like, like shiny metallic fabric on the inside. I had the sleeves rolled, sorry. Uh, and there is a drawstring in the waist to kind of cinch it in. And the fabric is like Tokidoki, which is adorable. And the scaling is really good for dolls. Like this looks like a little human jacket. I just love it. All right, I think finally on the Instagram train, we have Gluten. Now Gluten was a shop that was starting up doing custom clothes, but I believe they have paused since and are just doing um, like stock stuff. But while they were taking custom orders, I did have this jacket made. Now the zip broke because I could not get it on, well, I broke the zip because I could not get it on a doll without taking the zipper off. It just was not happening. Um, but the jacket itself is super duper cute. I honestly, where is mine? Where is my adult version of this jacket? Because it is just so beyond precious. I just, oh, I love it so much. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces. And then I have a couple t-shirts she made. Um, no. And then I have a couple t-shirts they made. So just um, almost the same shirt, a pink one and a gray one. I have a yellow one somewhere too. Um, somewhere i believe it might be on a doll that is not with me at this very moment and then i have a pair of high-waisted shorts from them as well these are extremely high-waisted but they do fit uh like my maddie bear doll l really good and if you're wearing a bralette they look super cute or if you're wearing like kind of an oversized shirt you just kind of see the bottom it looks really cute as well so and like look at that together it's so cute all right, next up, I have a couple of the pieces here from my um, doll heart video. So I have this jacket, of course, and a little um, like fabric bralette, and then this little romper as well. The quality on these items is really great. If you haven't seen that video already, I do recommend checking it out and checking out doll heart, especially if you have some kind of like chunkier MSDs. They have all the MDD chunky MSD clothes you could literally dream of. So. Yeah, go check them out. And then um, I have a pile here that's kind of, I'm calling this the um, made as gift slash for the craft exchange slash cannot remember for the life of me where I got it. So, uh, or where it's from. So I got this piece in a pastel bundle on Instagram. Don't know where it's from. I got this piece as a gift from um, a friend. I don't know if they made it or what, but um, it's super cute. Um, my friend Gigglefish made me this Invader Zim hoodie, which I freaking love. Um, it reminds me of my teenage years and it is just so, so cute. Uh, she makes the greatest stuff. Definitely check her out. Um, I got this in that pastel bundle. Again, I don't know where it's from, but it's cute. This one was made for me by Dark Hour Dolls back when she was making doll clothes. Um, this was from a craft exchange. Uh, this was from a craft exchange. I believe Kasha Ewer made me this one. No. This one was also from a craft exchange. This may have also been from a craft exchange. I honestly cannot remember it this very moment. Um, this one, craft exchange. This one, a craft exchange. Can you see any of the things I'm putting? Yeah, kind of. Uh, a craft exchange. Um, craft exchange, craft exchange, craft exchange, <laughs> and who the guessed it? Craft exchange. I also have these two items from when I was um, trying to have outfits made for Hollow and Soda Pop for full sets. 
but they weren't quite what I was looking for, so I didn't end up using them for the full sets, but I do keep the pieces because they're pretty cute and they're uh, nice layering pieces, so. Um, I also have this set. This is just from Glitter Girls. It's super uninteresting, but uh, it was a couple dollars and it came with the bathing suits. <laughs> I used the bathing suit. Um, and then I just have this and this is cute. It says ice cream day. It's good stuff. Glue the girls, really good and expensive clothes if you're looking for kind of stash fillers, I guess. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the bigger piles. Um, I've got some AliExpress items. So these are items you would find in my AliExpress hauls or while looking for um, doll clothes on AliExpress. So um, I'm not gonna have all the exact links for these anymore. Um, I apologize, but they are all from AliExpress. So first off, I have this six scale doll dress that's really cute. It fits a lot of my kind of smaller top half type dolls. Really cute. Got that. I have um, this striped long sleeve. If you've been on AliExpress looking at doll clothes, you have seen the shirt. You know it, you love it. I have this pair of white jegging type pants. These have been really good to me. I wanted to get more pairs to dye them. I might still do that. Um, these ones are a little stained, but you know. Um, they've been serving me really well. I have these two skirts here um, that are from, this one might be Taobao, but you, I think you can get something similar on AliExpress, but really cute pleated skirts. Um, six scale rainbow top from you know where. A pair of jeans white these ones have rips in them uh, the button doesn't stay very well it's like it's I don't know it doesn't even click on quite right um, but they weren't super expensive oh they do need to be clean though that's the thing about white pants eh? I have this pair of leggings that used to be tights but I've cut the bottoms off and uh, they're a lot more usable to me now but again from Aliexpress and then finally, I have this pair of pink shorts that is from Taobao or AliExpress, but I couldn't remember, so I put them in the AliExpress pile. If I'm wrong, I am sorry. All right, um, oh. All right, uh, onto my biggest pile. So everything in these piles you're gonna be able to find in my Taobao unboxing videos. Um, so if you're looking for anything in particular from this list, that's where you're gonna find it. Um, so the first thing I have is this skirt. This was part of a set, I believe. I can't remember which set was which, but it has a little bear on it. It's uh, Velcro in the back. Um, it's a really nice quality. It's definitely a sturdier material than the ones I got from AliExpress, and it's held its shape a lot better too. I also have this t-shirt, which looks really cute. This one was a little more expensive, but it's super cute. It says no more bad news, and it's got this like, little bear thing on it. Uh, this is super oversized on most of my dolls. I actually think that this would fit a 60 centimeter doll, uh, more like a crop top, but it's adorable. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite things in my doll wardrobe. Also, one of my favorite things is this bit I got recently. So it's a vest, obviously, um, but like it's just so cute and it's so f like floppy. Um, like the scale of it for dolls is perfect. Uh, sometimes vests can be too chunky and they look stiff, but not this one. This one is just perfect. I love it so much. I have this pair of jeans, which is great. They're from Four Doll on Taobao. I know because there's a tag. Um, however, the zipper they used is a little big and it doesn't hide under the zipper hider very well. So um, I only like to use this one with longer shirts or like, I don't know, like a bag or something if I can hide it because the zipper is pretty. It's in your face a little. Uh, this pair of sweatpants are one of my favorite things. They're so cute. They look so comfy. I want a pair. The pockets are quasi real, so you can like stick a finger in there so it looks like your doll's putting its hand in its pocket. But um, yeah, it's not a full pocket. You couldn't put anything in there. I have this pair of leggings that are super cute, just purple leggings. Um, this lacy like skirt. I love this one. It is so flowy. It is beautiful. I'm a big fan of this one. I remember the store some of these items are from. So this is from a store called Super Dinosaur Human Store. It's a Puma pink jacket, like a sport jacket. 
and then it has the matching bottoms as well. These are adorable. Um, they're a little oversized on most of my dolls, but it looks super duper comfy. Um, from the same store, I also got this plain pink t-shirt. There's a lot of pink about to be happening on here. Um, plain white t-shirt. Oh, that might be it from that store. I'm not really sure. Uh, I have this pair of overalls with this cloud on it. August used to wear these a lot. Now Hollow, where, like my Hollow um, Webster wears them a lot. Uh, I love these. They're one of my favorite pieces. I have a lot of favorite pieces if you're not if you haven't noticed already, but they're so, so cute. I just love them so much. I recently got these pants. They're just a pair of khaki pants. Uh, again, the pockets are real on these ones and the snap is functional and appropriately sized. I love these pants and I'm so glad it is fall and I can use them all the time now because I love them so, so much. I also have this pair of jeans with some fake ribbies in it. Um, I cuff these because I find them too long and also uh, they just look cuter cuffed, I think. Gives them a little more detail. I have this pair that's just basically chambray pants. Not so much jeans as chambray pants. I think that's it for the Taobao bottoms. I'm just going to slide some of these off so I can start going through some of the tops because uh, I have a lot. So for some of the tops, I have this sweater here. This was a slightly pricier piece too, but it is insanely soft, insanely soft and so cute and sturdy like a coat. So it doesn't feel like a sweater. Um, it definitely gives more of a coat vibe at the scale. Maybe if I got a third scale one, it would feel more like a sweater, but yeah, I definitely get coat from this. I also have this jean jacket. This came in a couple different colors. I got the purple because I thought it would be the most like my color palette, but um, it's kind of dark, but I still love it a lot, but it's super cute. I think there's a bright pink one too. Um, I kind of wanted that one too. I probably should have got that one. I've got this hoodie, which is one of my favorite pieces um, added to the list. But I got a lot of compliments on this one. It's got this super soft, super cute bear on the front. There's kitty cat ears on the hood. Um, some little buttons down the side, little pastel stars. And on the side it says bunny. Really, I don't know why it says bunny. There's a cat and a bear. It's very confused, but it's so cute. So uh, yeah, big fan of this one. I'm gonna tuck the hood under just so it doesn't completely consume everything because the hood is huge. Next, I have my anti sweater. So I love the hoodie. It gave me like vintage, um, like vintage hoodie vibes. Um, it does say anti. I don't, I don't know why, but I really liked it. So I got it. Um, this is from Taobao from like 10,000 years ago from my first Taobao haul. Uh, super cute tie dye, long sleeve. I also have this top with the bear. I feel like this goes with that skirt I showed earlier that had the bear. I have this pink top. And I have an exact same one that's blue from the same store um, because I love to matchy match my dolls and sometimes they wear matchy match tops. I have this t-shirt which is like a green and white stripe and it's like super oversized and comfy. This is a YoSD size top but it fits most MSDs really well. It's just like a tank top like it's kind of cropped. It's real cute though and it's thicker and kind of a knit. I really like this one a teddy bear t-shirt, very cute, velcro. Another cute velcro, this is a YoSD shirt, but again, I put it on my MSDs all the time. Another YoSD shirt, I put on my MSDs all the time. Um, another YoSD shirt, I put on my MSDs all the time. Same, same, <laughs> same, same, same. And again, and then, um, I have this like puffy top that uh, was Hollow's full set top when we did that. This is an EXO, like one of those plush K-pop dolls. That's a t-shirt for them, but it's like a super crop sh like shirt on my other dolls, so. Then my last, my last two pieces are again, two of my very, 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 very favorites. So I have this sweater that is just so delicate and soft and well-made. And it's got these little flowers embroidered onto it. The buttons are so cute. 
Um, the eyelet, like the lace work is so cute. It's incredibly soft and stretchy. I love this cardigan. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. And then this jacket is like a lot neoner, more neon than things I normally buy. But I was looking for this particular jacket for like a year. I saw one on Instagram and I had been hunting it down. Every time I asked people where they got it, they would say Taobao until finally someone was able to tell me it was the brand Four Doll and I was able to find it. I cannot remember who that person was, but thank you because you helped me find the jacket of my dreams. So um, that concludes the bought clothes. I'm gonna show you some of the clothes I made and then I'm probably gonna do a part two with shoes and accessories because this video is getting very long. Um, so I'm just gonna clear this and then show you the stuff I made. All right, so I'm gonna start with the stuff I sewed. So the first I'm gonna show you is this velour pink hoodie. It's got, it's supposed to be kitty ears, but they look like devil horns. And honestly, it's cute either way. Um, this was upcycled from a shirt I bought my daughter that she would never wear because she hates velvet, fair enough. But um, it was like on clearance, don't worry. I didn't waste a super cute kid shirt. But um, yeah, so I made this and I also made this um, very 90s inspired pink. Uh, it's cuter on than it looks here, but it's super cute on. It's just like, and it scrunches and it's like this velour velvet, it's velvet, but a velvet pink crushed dress. It's so cute on. Um, I love it so, so much. Here's a pair of pants I made. Uh, recently, they're just white. I, they're hand stitched. They don't look great. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of my clothes are hand stitched. I need to get a sewing machine. I just gotta do it. Um, and then these need a snap. I just made these. Uh, and the pockets are mushrooms. And that's all. That that is it. I. They're cute. They're not finished. <laughs> they're not finished. Um, in the same camp, pair of jeans I made um, 8,000 years ago. A uh, pair of pink pants I made 8,000 years ago for ERA. Sorry about that, my camera said that was enough from you. Um, <laughs> from me, I guess. But I'm gonna remake these once I have a sewing machine. I love these so much with the cargo pocket and the color block. Uh, they do have a cam snap, so another thing when I remake them is to use an appropriately sized snap. But uh, the cam snaps are so convenient and nice, so I use them. <laughs> I use them a bunch um, and there's some pleats, but I'm a big fan of these pants. They're one of my favorite things I've made. I have this pair of pants that I made. Um, I made them way too big. Uh, my rose helm can fit them. The button's way too big. We're not gonna talk about it, okay? We're just, we're just gonna put those over here. Uh, this is made from a Shopify t-shirt from way back when I used to work there. Um, I stopped wearing company swag when I left the company, obviously. But uh, it made a really cute doll hoodie, so I just have the Shopify hoodie for my dolls. I don't know, it's, I can't, like, can't bring myself to ever get rid of it. I don't know, it just like brings me back to a time, you know? Here is the dress that Luna used to wear in, um, I made this in my, um, what was it called, like thrift flipping video. I tried to do another one of those videos and I bought a bag and it was just absolute unworkable garbage and I was so disappointed. But uh, that video was really fun. And this is like the one thing I kept and I'm planning on keeping because I just loved it so much. It's so cute. I do miss Luna though. And then here's a sweatshirt I made from an upcycled pair of pants again. It is picking up hair, rude. Um, I feel like I could have painted this better. I should have put something, used acrylics instead of paint markers because it like blew out the color a little bit, but it's basically just Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Surface. And I still really like it. So I just keep it as something comfy for my dolls to wear. Okay, on to the knits. So as many of you know, I do knit. It is actually the first thing I really did in this hobby was make knits. Um, I don't have 99.9% .9 of the things I've knitted, but I do have some things that I just kept for my personal collection or made for my personal collection. So I have this white, little ribbed sweater um, with kind of like a mock neck. It's really cute. It looks good with everything. Um, I have this uh, Totoro short sleeve sweater I knit. This looks so cute with skirts. Um, it looks really good on my Rose Helm. I put it on her a lot. I have this one here that is kind of like 
I don't know what to call this. I don't know what the stitches are. I just like make them up as I go. If I really like the pattern, I write it down. I did write this one down. I called it the Bijou sweater, but uh, <laughs> like I said, I just, I just make up the patterns as I go. Um, I don't follow patterns. I just kind of like have a party. Uh, here's one I made that I didn't think I was gonna keep, but then I just loved the fit of it. It doesn't look like much. It looks like a big chunky sweater, but it is so cozy and cute on, and it's got a bit of a seed stitch, so it's a bit textured. Um, yeah, I, I love this one. Again, in the big chunky sweaters is, this is the same pattern. It's a pattern I made up, but it's the same one as this one, but this was knit on, um, like 1.5 millimeter needles and this was knit on I think three millimeter needles maybe four but um same stretchy rib it's the same sweater smaller neck though because if I did the neck to scale it would be like this big it'd be too big but I really like this I made a few of these and sold these too um but they're real squishy and it's like a happy kind of sweater if that makes sense here's another one um it's like a seashell type texture uh, there's a little bit of it in the sleeves as well um, one day I want to go back and like add a collar like a built-in like you know when you wear like a collared shirt underneath the sweater I want to just attach it and I think that would be really cute um, this is the same pattern but it's knit in a different gauge um, and like a different needle size you can see that same texturing here um, this one was knit smaller, almost more like USD, and then this one's like a true MSD. But that's the same, sh it's the same sweater. And then I have this color block baby, super cute. This pastel rainbow, this is one of the first sweaters I ever knit uh, for dolls. You can see my seaming has gotten 10,000 miles. I don't know, like way better. I don't know how to explain that, but my seaming is way better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like where's the recent one I've seen? This one, I guess. And like, you're not seeing stitches through it and stuff. It doesn't look messy. It looks much better. And then I have this one, which is um, more USD size, but fits most of my MSDs anyway, except for the neck sometimes, it's a bit small. I did knit it for when I had a wrapped uh, 1993 um, May for a brief period before I realized um, that was it was not for me but this was knit for her and it was super cute on her all right so let me know what your favorite pieces were that's it for the clothing um come back and there will be another one shortly uh in the next couple weeks i guess uh maybe in the next week i will see when i can schedule it um for shoes um if you're already subscribed to my channel thanks so much for subscribing if you're new here i hope you like the content is this annoying with the hands Ooh. um Anyways, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.